All right, guys, before we get into this video today, yes, some of the hot toys fell over us because I was doing some rearranging. Uh, I got a new Maju case right here. These are available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. This is going to be a new case right here, which is going to fit my, uh, the Venom's in there. Again, I got to put lights in here, but Venom's right in there. I don't know you can't even see it. You just see me. Venom's there and so is the Scarlet Spider. Uh, it's, this is probably the same size as this one. Although this one does look a little bit bigger, to be honest with you. It's a bad glare. This is a bigger one. That's obviously a bigger one. But um, I'm getting Carnage soon. So that's going to be in here. So it'll be a Spider-Man display, Carnage, and uh, Venom, Spider-Mans, and whatnot. I'm probably going to put this Batman statue away in uh, storage. And then probably put some more cases here. And um, I put up the uh, X-Men poster that I got from Comic-Con from Total from Hero Gallery, and then uh, my Joker light up poster, which I absolutely love. But uh, yeah, quick little update there before we get into today's video. Let's get started. All right, guys, came to Target to see what they got. A late night little toy hunt before they close. Check out these, these are actually pretty stocked. The Joes, pretty well stocked from uh, this character and this character. But look what I found. I ended up finding those new NECA um, Migo style, not Migo style, like retro style figures. This looks really cool. The packaging on this is pretty cool too. I don't know if all of these are out yet, but these little figures, looks like it's cloth goods too. But not only that, I didn't just find that, right? I also found Ethan Page right here. Ego, ego, look at my ego. It's an inside joke between me and Robert. That is pretty sick, man. This is one I've been looking for. Cloth goods jacket, um, obviously not the chase, but that's awesome to finally find this guy in the wild. DC Multiverse, you can see these two packs. This, this is, I'm getting that when that thing hits clearance, I'll tell you that much. Um, a lot of the DC Multiverse stuff is sitting though. You got Mr. Freeze sitting there. And then you have the uh, Joker Eyes Batgirl. There's a few of them there. And then the Ambush Bug and Booster Goal. Two Booster Goals, those have been sitting there for I think like a little over a week. Not sure if, I think that is a new set. I don't know what else is a new set from all these. These, I don't think I've seen this one before. This this Transformer right here looks pretty sick. Then you got the awesome Legos. I don't know if that's a re-release or not. And then there's these down here too, which are pretty freaking sick. Well, obviously they're putting a lot of Transformer stuff out because of the new, new movie, the Transformers 1. So that's the reason why there's this whole end cap over here. Same with this side, there's a lot of stuff on that side. And then the Joe, not the Joe's, the multiverse stuff, the DC stuff, I guess you can say that end cap. It's just the Joker mobiles. Um, they finally sold all the, the Batmobiles that they had here. I do not see anything else new in the figure area here. Uh, we, we have some of the retro TMNT stuff. This is actually, I don't think I've seen this one. That one might be a new one, Armada edition. I don't think I've seen that one before. Um, what else do they have? The bigger ships from the micro galaxy are not here and this is where i found ethan page right here this is from the new wave this one and uh that one i found him behind this figure right here but so this is the wave right there so obviously they probably did have a chase i know people are finding dark side um i don't know if i'll find him anytime soon or before i get him before my pre-order i have pre-orders on him uh, these are new too the new spider-man funko 8-bit pops which actually look pretty cool. So you got Spider-Man, Doc Ock, and Green Goblin. I don't know if that's the only ones that are coming out though. Uh, it might be, might be just these three right here. So I just found this in a go back. I don't know if this is a new, a new piece here, the Tiger Force Classified Series. I gotta admit, the box on this one looks pretty damn good. There's the figures in the back. I just dropped a lot of stuff, but this is everything you get. I've never seen this one before. Is this new? All right, check it out. I found a chase, a Superman chase. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in quite a while. So I was asking him because I gave him the information for the DPCI for the Batman Forever uh, figures from McFarlane. They're claiming it's not a, it's not sold at Targets, which is BS because it's not an exclusive and people are finding them at Targets. Uh, Dark side everywhere in my area seems to be sold out, but this is a cool to see again. The red version of this guy. I haven't seen this one in quite a while. Well, that's gonna be it for this quick, oh, wait a minute. This is new right here. Wow, I didn't even know this is out. This is this is the uh, vintage, wow, this is pretty cool. 
I have the OG one of this. This is $40. So it looks like, honestly, this looks like it's going to be the exact size, I'm assuming, based off of the picture. See, this is something that's cool when you get vehicles like this that are actually in size, not like some of the giant figures that they were doing and that were not good. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. How many of you guys would actually pick this up? This is awesome. Again, I have the OG version of this one, but look at that. The box art on this is so nice. Very, very cool piece right here. I caught that by surprise. How many is there? There's just two of them. That is awesome. Pass for me. The only reason why I would buy it would be for the box, but I have the OG piece on this one. 